Hey guys, and welcome back to Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Today we're at a very interesting thing in the game. It's an anomaly, which you can find here in Hordeflyk, which is in Norway, roughly about the top left of the map. You see um, the shorting zone, like right there, Fornberg is at the bottom, so we go up here. This is where we are on the small little island over here. And in this location, you can find this weird kind of blue thing here that's kind of odd and you can interact with this anonymously and you basically turn into your like you know real self in, a, in, a, in essence and this appears in front of you and you're like what is that a parkour course like what the fuck there's a parkour course right in front of us and this is how we do it. So right at the beginning here, just dodge these walls because if these walls touch you, it does take you to the beginning of the course or the beginning of the like invisible checkpoints. The checkpoints kind of like, if you do fail, you'll see the checkpoints aren't too far behind. You will have to deal with these things here, these lasers. These lasers let you basically activ activate certain platforms. So you can see the platform right there in the middle is the one we need. If you point the laser at it, it kind of stays there and you are able to stand on it. So all you have to do is kind of point the laser in the right place. This one's the right one. So you can kind of jump on here and be able to climb and keep proceeding. It does get a little bit more difficult as you go on, so if you are needing help, this video is for the purpose of basically showing you a walkthrough of, of what to do. So just run here, dodge the wall, make sure the red doesn't touch you, keep going, just jump. You can jump relatively far and you can climb, obviously it's Assassin's Creed. It's really not too difficult, there are just some points with the lasers where you have to like, you know, go like, oh, what am I supposed to do here, or like, what did I mess up on, which is, which is coming up soon. So here's one of the first tricky parts of this kind of section here. So you see there's two lasers here. The first one, we're going to point at the far right platform right over there because we need to get to the second laser. And then we're going to jump from here onto this platform over here to take a quick little shortcut. And we're going to go over to that laser over there. So we're just going to go jump over here. And then we're going to go to that laser right over there, jump onto this invisible one. It's always scary because it feels like it's going to fall. And then here, obviously, we just light up this platform there because we're going to need that to get across. And then now we jump back here and don't forget we need to go to this first laser again because we actually do need to be able to make a jump in the middle here. So we're going to jump over here and we're going to activate this laser yet again and we're going to move it to the one that's right over here. You can see as it moves there, there it is. So now we've got it, it's locked on perfectly on target and we're going to jump over here and we're going to jump here and then we're going to have to wait for this thing to come back. And then we basically jump onto this, jump onto here, jump onto the first laser to block the this thing platform here, that platform, and then the second laser block. And then we're going to move our way up onto this pillar here, obviously just climbing towards the left and kind of upwards at a diagonal angle, and then just climb straight upwards and and, and jump to this, this kind of section over here. This one is a little bit tricky, so um, what you got to do is kind of make sure you avoid these two squares. So as soon as one square has gone behind you, go behind it like that and then dodge the other one. And then you want to get onto this platform here where you can stand in the middle here so they both go and then you're going to want to quickly go. You can see that one's coming so go left and then go back to the right again because the one on the left is going to come through. So you just kind of have to keep going left and right um, main, making sure that that one's not going to hit you in the back or the one that's not going to hit you in the front. It might be a bit tricky if you do it your first time and you kind of like panic. But don't worry, the checkpoint is right before that section, so it's not too it's not too hectic. Right here, we're just gonna jump here behind the slow walls. Very easy, jump and jump again. And I can still make this jump again. And this one here, we need to use a laser. Now this laser is it's quite annoying because you have to use it in a certain way. So the first thing is it's kind of highlighted a block there that you can't climb, but you actually want to laser it at a block that you're going to need later on, which is this one. And you don't want to be like me and you don't want to get to the top there and realize, oh shit, I got to come all the way back down so I can point this laser there. So make sure you do point it at that kind of lost block up in the sky there because you need it to be able to get across. And it's really annoying to actually come all the way back down just to, just to do that, which is what I had to do the first time. And then jump up here, it's quite easy. Jump here, here. Make sure you wait for this kind of rectangle right thing to go across, make sure it's not in the middle because it will it will flag you even if your little hand or your elbow hits it there. So make sure it's like all on the side. You really run past it so quickly, it's you don't even notice it. 
And now we're just waiting for this elevator. <laughs> I swear I heard elevator music in my head there. It's like ding, 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 from the 80s or something. Jump on here and then jump. And then, oh, I'm going to wait for this one and then jump. Easy peasy. There's the platform that we needed and jump and jump and jump. So you see, without the laser and we didn't have that platform, I had to go all the way back down, which you shouldn't make the same mistake if you're watching this video. And I hope you aren't. And this is basically the end. Uh, there is one last thing that you have to do here. There's a kind of wall of fire that comes down towards you. Um, make sure you don't get hit by that because, yeah, it comes all the way down. As soon as it's kind of like ended there, just run right up either to this pillar here or the second pillar. I was able to make it to the second pillar and then you just climb up, dodge the flames, and then kind of just run to the finish line because, yeah, you're basically done and that's how you do the anomaly. I'm going to hide this kind of little cinematic that it's going to show you here to not spoil anything. And yeah, that's how you do your first anomaly in Hordeflike in Norway. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I will see you in the next one. Thank you so much for watching.